Hi, I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. All right, we are here to finish Bountiful Voyage. This is my very first large, <clears throat> large canvas. <coughs> and it's going to be finished now with you guys. I have number 24. Let's see if I can do this. I have number 24 left. And sorry, guys, but the glare is just too much. Ah, there we go. So my canvas is sideways. So I have to turn my boxes the proper direction so I can read what the code is, the symbol. So we have 24, the downward to the right arrow. So we are going to, I just have this area left right here. And it's hard for me to move it because it's a really big picture. But here we go. So I'm going to, I'm going to shake. As you notice, I have the washi tape, tape trick and I love it. And the diamonds just line up. So there is a lot of horizontal lines here. So we're just going to knock them out real quick. Well, come on, diamonds. So, of course, it's going to act up because we're on camera. That's the way it goes. So, we went, we did go on a vacation while I was doing this, in the process of this. So, I didn't get, there was probably two week uh, a week when I didn't get to do it. Yeah, the putty kind of. I'm in my garage, which is my new studio, and it's kind of hot in here, and uh, kind of melts the putty down a little bit, so I have to deal with that when I'm in here, but that's okay, because this canvas is big, and I need room, so, so anyway, we are working on this, so some of them go no problem. But sometimes I am uh, using the Diamond Art Club pen and putty. So I'm so excited. I told my husband I had two squares this morning, two. And I said, I am not going to bed till this is done. So I'm going to try to talk to you. While I do this, it should be easy because it's only one color left. So, so what are you doing this month? I am going to be participating in dragons and stuff and diamond painting with friends event changing of the se change of seasons and it starts on the first and I was so glad that I made it I sent her her picture the picture of my canvas just in time to get in because I almost didn't make it I was out of town and I left the canvas at home I almost I almost bought another one it was a diamond dots farmers market with a pickup truck and a bunch of fall color stuff in the back of it. I almost bought another one at Walmart just so I could send in my entry, but um, I didn't. I didn't have to. She just uh, told me as soon as I get home, send it to her. And I got it to her yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. Um, whatever day it was. Sunday? Sunday when we came home. So I'm retired, so I can do whatever I want now. So, and today I had my first library event. 
but I'm going to talk about that on another video because I am done. I'm done with Bountiful Voyage and look how many drills I have left. Beautiful. And this is a firefly tray. Love it. And I use putty. This is Frosted Coconut Snowball by Create, Made with Love Creations. I can't read this, guys. Creation Mor Morin. And it's, it's to Frosted Coconut Snowball. It smells delicious. I keep forgetting that. I, I, keep, I keep wanting to eat it, but you can't. Anyway, so I am done. I don't know. I think at the end of the video, we'll try to pan out so you can see it. Yeah, I roll this after I finish a section just to keep the drills down. I love this. My husband wanted me to get this picture. All right. Tom, I am done. I am done with Bountiful Voyage. Do it's you... been two months. It's been, yeah. It's been I know. two months. You started this, uh, what was it, the 26th, uh, of, uh, 26th of June? 26th of June. And let's see, we went to... Tennessee and I couldn't bring it couldn't bring it nope and then we went down to where our son lives in, in Spring Hill Spring Florida Hill, twice twice and, and then you were just there it. this past weekend yep and I did my uh, kitty knits yeah kitty knits uh, with I think fantastic that, right? felines right. I did bring that to Daniels and I finished that one I didn't finish it, but I worked on that one. Oh, we have a diamond that came up, guys. Hold on. You're going to have to glue it. No, you can't glue Diamond Art Club's canvases because that voids the warranty. Mm. So I am not going to. I don't know everything. I know you don't. It's okay. That's what you have me for That's when it comes to Diamond That's why I have questions art. that I have mm -hmm. to ask. Well, what's your next one, sir? Okay, well. I have a whole bunch of uh, questions here. All right. Um, I'll do the best I can. We kind of established when you uh, started, which was the June 26th. 26th. So that was your first question. Um, what supplies did you use? Well, I kind of touched on that. I used putty. And I actually won this one in House of Miscellaneous contest. And I used Diamond Art Club's pen. And their putty, their putty, and I used another Diamond Art Club pen. And for my special drills, I used just the generic Diamond Art pen with nothing in it. And I know some of you are going to go gross, but I would just take the pen and go, ah, and Put my specials down it works great there's no wax no putty and nothing that the on the ab's the coating doesn't come off it works great great tip i think i got that from diamonds and thoughts i think she was the one that told me that's kind of what she does the tongue thing but it works out great i i it was wonderful. It was a good tip. So what about the symbols? Did you have any symbols that caused you any uh, problems? Or I know blindness? I, I heard one earlier uh, when you were trying to do the, before we were setting up, uh, you, you got the wrong color. Yeah. See, there's, there's two. That's off the map. Huh? Yeah, you, that's off the map. You got to yeah. move it a little bit. Well, there was two symbols. There was this one. Hold it up higher. Whoops. How about like that? Yeah, that's probably okay. That one. And then there's another one. It's like um, 
an upward arrow with a colored in center. So it's, this one goes down and the other symbol went up and they were often together. And it just drove me bonkers because they're close in colors. And then um, the E, the equal sign and the R, the R and the V, the R and the V, there's a lot of them in here. And they were close together. And there was one instance where I did. I put R's where the V's were. And I realized it near the end. And I was just like, oh, well, nobody's going to be able to tell. I can't even tell where I did it. So it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, there was a little bit of confusion on this canvas because the symbols are so close and then the location was close. So um, there's almost 106,000 diamonds in this uh, painting. Yes. Did you count them? I didn't count them all. I just looked on the box. Oh, you cheated. Um, did you have any that were damaged? Oh, damage drills. Well, let me put this away and then they're all bouncing all over the place. I know there's another one somewhere. Maybe it'll be in my sock later. Yeah, maybe because he has found some in his socks. He's gone to bed and he's like, what is on my foot? And it was a drill. He loves me though, guys. Okay. I'm going to show you all my... Oh, wait a minute. We have a bunch right here that aren't even damaged. Let's just put that up for right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's some pretty cool looking damaged ones in here. They all didn't even come out. It's all right. We got enough. They have stage fright. They have stage fright. So, look at that that cool guy right there. I don't even know what he is. What is, what is, what is, what is he? He's he's just like hanging out in, in there. And then there was one. There's one that's, I don't know if you can see it, but he's got an eyeball in the middle. There's a... Uh, about how many do you think One. are there? Oh, sugar. Uh, I don't know. Out of a hundred, my point is out of a hundred and six thousand diamonds. That's about oh, all you had that was trash. Yeah, this was all I had that was trashed. Um, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, and then there's this guy here, which was really cool. I don't know if you can see it. See, he's really small, and then there's an even smaller one right there. Kind of cool, kind of neat trashes. Uh, and I think there was, yeah, I got, I got a round one in there. This is not a round canvas. It's a square canvas, but there was a round, a couple of them. So that was all my damaged. Pretty cool, huh? I think they're kind of neat looking, but I didn't want to put them in my canvases. Next. Okay, so tell me about problem spots on your uh, canvas. I know uh, you were covering up a couple of spots with uh, some wax paper or whatnot to... That uh, was release paper. Yeah, release paper to keep it from uh, getting uh, no stickiness on there. Yes. When I started the canvas, I started... At the bottom? I think I started at the bottom, and then I when I got to the bottom of the ship... I decided I was just going to do the ship and then I could work around it because I thought it would be easier. Essentially it was, but as I was doing that, there was a spot here as I was doing the ship or here, my arm kept hitting at my sweater or whatever was on my sleeve and I didn't realize it until I went to put drills on here and I'm like there's no there there's no sticky and it happened here there's no sticky so I didn't know about the baby wipe the baby wipe trick 
So I just use some diamond dots sealer and I put that on there with a the brush and then I put my drills down and it worked. But the only thing was those drills in that area that I had to put more adhesive down on, they were concreted in. So you know how you're doing your diamond art and you just want to push the drills a little aside to kind of make it fit. There was no doing that in that section. So when I realized this had some non-sticky, I went around this way and did this section last. So if I had to do that, I'd, I wouldn't have to worry about moving them because I would be done. That would be the last thing I'm doing. So, and it worked out. It worked out that way. So su super excited about it. So I'm going to roll it before I put it away and hang it in my closet, take measurements of it before I put it in the closet. And my husband and I are going to get a frame for this and he's going to put it up. He works at home, so he's going to put it up in his office. So maybe when it gets where it goes, uh, we'll get a picture of it. Oh, yeah, we will have to. So uh, this is probably a dumb question. Did you enjoy it? Oh, my gosh. I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm retired. So I did this a good part of the day, but I did take frequent breaks. And at 9 o'clock at night, I typically ended doing what I was doing. I also stopped to make lunch, breakfast, dinner, all that good stuff. And at nine o'clock I stopped and that's when we, I would watch my YouTube or he would watch his YouTube and we would just catch up and I'd have the dog on my lap because my dog is a... Milo loves to get on your uh, lap. You pull that Elmo, um, Elmo blanket down and he's Oh yeah, he's right like, there. Like <laughs> yeah, you can say this is not a kid approved channel. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so... I had a really good time doing this one. My next one is going to be a Randall Spangler mystery canvas. So I won't be able to show you progression. I guess I could, but just not, not the whole thing. I'll just have to show you a small piece. We'll have to put the camera down low. Yeah. The overhead camera. Yeah. But... It's a mystery, so I'm not allowed to right. really show it. To, I don't want to spoil the surprise for other people. So this is my Bountiful Voyage, and I'm going to try to... I stole my husband. Some people use pool noodles. We didn't have any of those. We used... PVC pipe. PVC pipe. I like this better than a pool noodle because... When I put my arm down on it with the canvas wrapped around it, I didn't make the canvas flat. And I was afraid I was going to cause the diamonds uh, the drills to pop off. So I saw this in the garage and told him I took it. And I use it now. And for anybody who wants to use it, it is... What's the size? It's one and a quarter inch. You'll probably go one and a half or two inch as well. Yeah. So I use this and I wrap the canvas up, drill, drills out, and just wrapped it up. And then when I rest my hand, when I rest my hand on it, I'm not squishing the canvas. There's support in there. That might just be a me thing. You might not even need to worry about that. Um, Diamond Art Club's canvases are really sturdy. They're durable. So I don't think it's really up to you. It's your preference. So let me uh, get that out. Okay, you're going to hear a bang. Conk. So, all right, Mr. Camera Guy, help me show this piece here. I want to put this on the side somewhere. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Turn it this way. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. 
beautiful. You can roll it on if you like. There you go. So there's the top. Look at how pretty. Yeah, the studio's not uh, set up to be able to do a, a big frame like this. Big we'll picture? To, we'll have to work on that for the next one. Look at that. But it's pretty. Super nice. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think of this beautiful canvas. Oh, all right. I'll see ya. Bye.